on the one-hour chart, Polygon has lost a critical support level. The digital asset had a breakdown from an ascending parallel channel. The long-term momentum has shifted in favor of the bears. Matic Price had a colossal 44% sell-off in the past week. Although the entire cryptocurrency market faces significant selling pressure, Polygon was one of the most affected coins. Matic Price could slip even lower. On the one-hour chart, Matic formed an ascending parallel channel that can be drawn by connecting the higher highs and higher lows with two parallel trend lines. The breakdown of this pattern has a bearish price target of $0.347 initially. However, Polygon could fall toward the previous low of $0.32 if bearish momentum remains strong. On the other hand, on the daily chart, Matic price had a breakout from a symmetrical triangle pattern on April 13th and managed to stay above the previous resistance trend line. This breakout had a price target of $0.50 cents, and only $0.46 cents was reached which means that Polygon could resume its uptrend to hit that target soon. You're going to make $100,000 a year for the next decade, and if the U.S. dollar is going to weaken at 15% a year, you should discount your cash flows by 15% next year, by, you know, 15, 30% the next year, by 15, 15, and 15 cubed, right, the next year, and by 15% to the 10th power, the 10th year, it isn't a hard sequence to figure out, right? Your, your purchasing power is going exponentially to zero. All you got to do is fill in what is the percentage weakness of the money to figure out what your purchasing power is going to be. This is the same math you would do for an individual dentist or an engineer or a small business or a large business or a bond, if you held a bond and the bond's paying you 100,000 a year, right? It's the same exact math, it's just discounted cash flow. Once you figure that out, then the question is, you know, what are the consequences of me continuing to work in the US dollar? The answer is you have to basically grow your salary faster than the rate at which the currency collapses. So if you can raise your salary 15% a year every year forever, then you'll have the same amount of money in 10 yeah. years as you have now. By the way, you won't get rich. Yeah, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be getting paid a million dollars a year at some point and it will buy you nothing. But that's one strategy. The other strategy is you convert your existing assets should be fortunate. If you are fortunate enough to have assets, invested in bonds, commercial real estate, or equities that are valued on cash flows or sitting as cash in a bank, you convert that into the hard asset, which is Bitcoin, as much as you dare. Some people say 5%, some people say more. I've done a, you know, 400%. My view is first I convert all my stuff, then I borrow money, then I convert that. But everybody makes a decision as to how invested they want to be in the digital asset universe versus the analog asset. Once you do that, after you, after you decide what portion of your existing assets you should convert, you can decide if you want to afford financial cash flows. And, if you can, and maybe you do. I did, but you know. Then you decide you want to finance your, your other assets. Like you have a house, you have a million dollar house, you can borrow $800,000 of it. Maybe you can borrow an $800,000 home equity line at 2.5% interest. Well, if I borrow $800,000, pay 2.5% interest, invested in Bitcoin, paying 250% interest, it's a 249.7 of 247% arbitrage, right? Yeah, it's a great deal. Okay, like everybody, some people are afraid to do that, you know? I would say, well, you get to borrow money against your house to buy a dominant digital monitoring network growing more than 200% a year that's got a monopoly on money that should grow by a factor of 100. Sounds to me like a better, by the way, the same people that are afraid to do that will start up their own business to complete the next Snapchat. It seems to me like creating the next Snapchat is a lot more risky than buying a piece of a, of a monopoly digital network that's more powerful and you know more useful to everybody on earth than anything ever invented in your lifetime. But everybody, everybody assesses risk differently, right? Our brains are wired differently. I think uh, if I was giving advice to my niece, I would say, you know, if you can finance your house, finance your house if you're lucky enough to have it. If you have some other, if you can sell equity in yourself or in your business, you want to sell equity in your business, okay, good idea, invest in something related to Bitcoin because it's growing by a factor of 100. Better idea, buy some Bitcoin with the money and then borrow against the Bitcoin to invest in the thing that you think is cool because there's a 99% chance that a new business fails, but 
in the 99% probability that your Snapchat substitute fails or your TikTok competitor fails, if you finance the business in Bitcoin instead of in US dollars while you were failing, you're going to get rich.